Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name is Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So the idea of the Astro Coloscope is that in a moment, I'm going to dip my hands into this bag of crystals, take three crystals for your star sign, individual star sign, and then I'll throw those crystals into a group of the 12 houses just to see where they land. Then I'm going to read the energy of the crystal, the color of the crystal, where the, the crystals landed. And I'm also gonna take a bead from this bag to have an extra little bit of color or whatever else wants to come up from that bag. And I'll take a card from the Voyager deck tarot. And these cards are collages. So what I want you to do then is take a look at the card that comes up for you and see what most attracts you in that card. Then ask yourself, what does that mean? And see what the message is that comes to you. So it's a little bit more individual. So before we get started though on that part of our Astro Coloscope, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the um, aspects that are coming up this month for July. So the first of the month, between the first and the third it's kind of a little bit exciting because Venus is is conjunct Jupiter Venus is the planet of love of course and Jupiter is a planet of expansion and joy and luck so these two planets are coming together it's almost like they're giving each other a hug or a big fat kiss you know so there's a sense that there's joy that's coming up in relationships happiness that's coming up your heart is being fulfilled and also at the same time Time, there's a Uranus and Mercury aspect that's coming in so you can expect the unexpected communications are filled with love then on the 2nd of July there's a full moon in Capricorn as well and with this there's there's a Sun trine Neptune all at the same time so it's like the universe is saying let's have a great time at the beginning of July this is a fabulous time to fulfill your heart's desires so it's a great time to get married, it's a great time to propose, it's a great time to fulfill whatever it is you want to achieve right now that is close to your heart because of that Venus energy, it's bringing love into it. And Jupiter, of course, means that great opportunities are coming up. So this is a fabulous time to make your wishes. And you know, even though the full moon is about a culmination and a completion, it's still a great time to make your wishes and just open up to the universe and to the abundance of the universe. There's also the sense of, you know, pursuing a vision as well. And especially with that, that Neptune energy, because Neptune is about the imagination. And with the sun, there's a sense of light coming in. So a vision that may have been blocked or imagination, or if you've had writing issues, then it's, it's almost like, a dam opens up and that energy flows through you so that then your vision can be expanded, you know exactly where you're going, your imagination is really hot. So it's a great time to write as well. This is a good time to write, especially as Mercury is going in the right direction for a change, right? So it's a great time to for creativity and again for that passion, whatever you are passionate about right now. Then the beginning of the month is a perfect time to get that that energy moving for you on the sixth there is a sun that the sun is opposing Pluto and then on the ninth Mars is opposing Pluto so with the sun opposing Pluto there's a there's an intensity because Pluto is a an intense planet it well it's an intense body so it's it's almost like it's almost like you know you don't always get what you want. There's a sense of a tantrum that's coming up with that sun because the sun is, oh, everything's fabulous, everything's wonderful. And then Pluto comes up and says, well, it might not be because you need to transform something. You need to change something. You need to look at what's going on in your life. And especially with that Mars energy coming up at the same time, almost at the same time. So it can be a little bit of an overbearing time between the 6th and the 9th of the month. It may be that, you know, um, anger is coming up a little bit more. Energy is coming up to be cleansed anything that you've stuffed down there like irritations or 
or grievances, that may start to kind of come to the surface. But at the same time, that is an energy dynamic as well, especially with the Sun and Mars. Very hot, very fiery, and you could use it to your advantage. So this could be a great time to get things moving, to get action and heat and passion behind whatever it is you wanted to get off the ground. So it could be like a little rocket that's being set under you to get things moving. It doesn't have to be negative, doesn't have to be challenging. Then we have the new moon that's um, coming up in Cancer in the middle of the month on the 16th. Cancer is the the home of the home. So it could be around that time that you you could start to change things around your home, move your furniture around, just like I've been doing in my office. I've already gotten that energy. And it could well be that you start to plan parties and things, things that will be more home-based or family-based connections with your family. So then July 25th, there is a, a big aspect, a big shift, and that is Venus going retrograde. So at the beginning of the month, we have this Venusian energy, and, at the, and towards the end of the month, it's coming up again. And when it moves retrograde, it's really about you know going inside, uh, connecting again to what you most want, as opposed to looking outside of yourself and maybe relationships. So also around that time, Uranus is going uh, retrograde and Saturn is retrograde. It's been retrograde since March. So it's like three big planets, three big energies are all moving in reverse. So if we feel into that, if we feel into Venus, which is that, that planet of love, compassion, desire, um, joy, and excitement as well that's that's in Venus and all of that is going inside Saturn is again in that reverse mode as well so it's almost like you're having to look at what is really important to you and Uranus going retrograde it, it's always a planet of the unexpected but because of that internal energy that's coming up it could be that the rub gets pulled from underneath you a little bit and a little bit and so then energy has to be has to emerge so it feels like there's a strength that's coming from that it doesn't feel negative it feels like you know in the immediate instance it looks like it's negative and then something shifts and you can see a, a new strength a new gift a new talent that emerges from you. That's the sense of it for me anyway. It feels like it clears out the emotions, uh, but to clear it out means that then you find this new ability. Right at the end of the month, there is another full moon. So this is a two full moon month. So this is in Aquarius. And you know, with Aquarius, it's a little bit it's a, a little bit more intellectual, it's a little bit more mind oriented. So again, you have that kind of emotions that are going internally, that focus isn't on the internal life. So your emotions could be a little bit in turmoil because you don't quite know where they are. They're going inside and then there's this Aquarian energy that's coming up and, and it's like a thinking part. So it you may be a, like a fish out of water if you're a very emotional person and it may be that you just cannot figure out what's going on emotionally and you might just have to focus a little bit on the intellectual side and maybe where those emotions are coming from, how they are impacting your life, what you can do about creating a balance in your life. And there's another energy that's coming from that. It feels like there's a need to start journaling now as well. And journaling's always good, but it, there's a sense of journal and then you can bring this new energy up and out and into your future. And, you know, September feels like it's going to be a little bit clearer, but, um, but August, this energy is still going on. All right then, so let's get started on the crystals for your star sign.
Okay, Pisces. So you have something interesting. You have angelite in your eleventh house. This is a tumbled angelite, and then another piece of angelite. This is anhydrite, which is um, it's called angel wing, and this went into your second house. So you have both of these stones together, which is sort of interesting to me. This is saying that angels are all around you this month this is a great month to connect with your psychic skills to connect to the angelic realm to connect to people of like and light minded um, ideas souls etc it's very much about what you value and you value that connection with people that are on the same wavelength as you so with the the blue energy of the angelic realm there is a, a feeling of moving up a little bit in in the world maybe in the esteem of others also the sense of your self-worth is getting um is getting better it, you your confidence is building with the blue energy there are different layers to it this particular stone there's lots of different layers to it so it's almost like you've been tentatively moving around uh, and trying to find it uh, trying to find what fits best for you where you belong and i feel that with this that it, it almost looks like it belongs in something like a peg you know like a round peg in a square hole it looks like you're going to find where you belong this month or at least how you can show yourself to the world from that place of truth who you truly are I, I get this sense of a lot of psychic energy coming up intuition is very strong of course the connection to the angelic realm to channeling meditation all of these things are going to be valuable to you this month but I also feel that you know because of the layers that there are blessings that are coming lots of blessings that are coming this month and they're angelic based blessings so it's almost like someone's going to pick an angel card for you someone's going to give you a deck of angel cards someone's going to give you a coin you might get some money you might just get all these different kinds of little blessings also in your dreams as well your dream state and this is the same with the angelite that comes in here there there is a feeling of opening up to a more public forum maybe uh, and a, maybe connecting to more angelic minded people so i feel like there's a, a huge opportunity that's coming up here that's linked with the angelic realm if you are not an angel person if you're not interested in angels then this can be something that links to the higher mind to to a higher education to a, a greater intelligence so there is a sense of opening up to this to this new dimension or new understanding a new awareness that's there and consequently it gives you a greater sense of confidence it, it also um, brings more valuable things to you or at least things that you deem valuable and this could be money it could be friends it, it could be a certificate it could be you know anything that you would deem valuable that really gives you a higher sense of self-worth and self-esteem. I feel as well with this that it's about healing. So there's a sense of on another level that healing is coming to you and some kind of truth is coming to you as well. This stone often links with astrology. So you may find yourself steeped in astrology this month it might be worth listening to you know lots of dis different astrological forecasts um, for you specifically for, for your particular star sign yeah I love that so then the last stone is this piece of green obsidian this went into your seventh house green obsidian is known as the Gaia stone so there is a link with this and gardens of, and nature and connecting to fairies and devas and angels again it went into your seventh house this is about relationship so it looks like you are making a new relationships with people that have a, a lighter higher 
magical vibration. The green is also connecting to the blue. And this is about healing your heart, healing the planet at the same time as healing your heart and healing others. So what you might find yourself doing is opening your heart up to the possibility of being healed or end opening your heart up to the possibility of healing other people too. I'm just getting a sense of if there is anything else that wants to come up. I feel that, you know, you probably, you know, you may well have a great diet, but I, there is a sense with this that something is changing around your diet. You need to watch your diet. Be a little bit um, mindful of what you're taking in because it feels almost as if you need lots of green. The stone that came up for you, the bead that came up for you is this fabulous fire stone. It's got yellow and red and orange in it all at the same time. It's like a fiery energy. So I feel that you're going to be very creative this month, very passionate. There's going to be a fire under you, so you're going to get a lot done, that's for sure. And and I feel as if there's lots of travel that's coming up for you as well with this kind of fiery energy. There's a lot of movement that's going on. So it feels like travel is a part of that as well. I'm getting the sense, because it's yellow and red, you know, this is a, can often link with education and teaching and with the blue as well, that, that can be education and teaching as well. So you might find yourself in those environments where you're learning or you are actually teaching others. And then this, the card that came up is Sun. Take a look at that card and see if there's anything in it that attracts you at this moment. Then ask yourself, what does that mean? What does that mean? So the Sun is coming in right now. It's shining in. I am seeing these flowers at the bottom there. They look like poppies. Um, yeah, they look like poppies. So that's what that's what I'm seeing at the bottom. So with the sun card, the sun is about, it's about being with your tribe. It's about finding friends. It's about having community that you are uh, compatible with and able to work together, that everybody is working together. With the poppies, you know, when we're giving out poppies, there is that remembrance and people are working together to help with the remembrance. So feel that what this is about is you are going to remember something uh, and it's, it's about that connection to others. And so there's a sense of a light that's coming in, light is information, there's a sense of a light that's coming in and you're going to have a, oh yeah, that's what I need to do. That's where I need to go. That's that's who I need to be. You know, that's the, the sense of this particular card for you. Whatever it is, you're going to be shining your light. Okay, that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do remember to grab my free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. And also remember that I do different kinds of readings on my website, sealwithlove.com. I offer crystal gem readings and card readings and soul guidance and all kinds of different things. Plus, I have a store, store.sealwithlove.com, where I offer all kinds of different jewelry. There's bracelet and necklace and rings and lots of meditations and books, of course, etc. So I look forward to seeing you very soon. Do check out my other oracles, the crystal scope and the color scope. Lots of colorish blessings to you. Bye.